What's going on full timers? We back again with another one. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to track out a beat that you made in standalone mode in your DAW using the multiple outputs of the MPC software. It sounds like a lot, but if you guys are ready to put in some work, man, let's clock in. I'm gonna head on over to Studio One, all right? So if you wanted to get your beat tracked out, the first thing that you would need to do, of course, is what? Load up the MPC software as a plugin or as an instrument insert, whatever, whatever your dog calls it. Of course, put your MPC in controller mode, then load up the beat. The beat that I'm using is called Lockdown. I already know the tempo, and the reason I'm emphasizing the tempo is because the DAW, which is Studio One, will be the host. You can look at it and verify it on your hardware circuit, and you can also look right here where it says HST, that's the host, right? So if you change the tempo in the DAW, as you see, this changed to 78, I need it to go back to 75.47. All right, B to 75.47, it'll be out of whack if I try to record it, I'll play it so you can hear it. That's what it's supposed to sound like. Let me speed it up. That's all off. And the reason it sounds like that is because I'm using audio tracks. My audio tracks aren't warped for a 82.47 tempo. So let me change this back to 75.47. The MIDI can go as good as, <laughs> as good as it wants to be, okay? But uh those audio tracks, nah. They're not gonna play they're not gonna play right. Alright, I'm gonna make sure my metronome is off. The reason I make sure it's off is because it will record on a track. All right. I'm going to make sure I have a song created in song mode. You can do it with just sequences as well, but I'd rather, you know, track out the song I made in song mode. Sometimes I don't want to explode and, you know, export those tracks. So I do it this way now. All right. So it looks like everything is good. My tempo is correct. The metronome is off. I have the song already in song mode. So in order for me to record these tracks, I need to create 16 audio tracks. As you see, they're here. So on your DAW, create 16 audio tracks. Boom. Make sure they're in stereo and they're audio tracks. All right, so I got 16 audio tracks created. Now I need to activate the multiple outputs for the MPC plugin. So in Studio One, you would actually click this little arrow right here to expand those outputs then you would click this box the box the box isn't going to be highlighted or checked you would check the box for outputs you know 1 through 32 now it says that you can output in mono but majority of my tracks are in stereo and I haven't figured out how to you know output mono sources just yet via this method without have without having phase issues okay all right, so I have my outputs ready. Now I need to map my outputs or route my outputs to the audio inputs for my audio tracks. So instead of it being input left and right, I need to change it to the instrument output three and four, so on and so forth. So this, this would be instrument output five and six, seven and eight, you guys get the picture. So I'm gonna pause the video, make sure those are correct and I'll be back, okay? Cool, so everything has been routed to the correct input. Now let's actually go back into the software and do the same thing for our MIDI tracks and audio tracks, all right? So my kick is set to the program by default. If you can't see this window, you need to click this little I, and if you can't see where stuff is being routed, you need to click this little square down here that's called pad channel, okay? You can also do it from the software. You would actually click mix and then go to route to route where route things where you need them to go. But I'm gonna do it via software today, okay? So you, you click program, you click the little arrow, you go to stereo output. I want it to be three and four. For my kick, I want my snare to be output uh, five and six. So as you see, it changes from over here as well. I want my output to be seven and eight. All right, so so on and so forth for all the all the tracks that you're using or MIDI channels that you're using. It's an open hi-hat and I want it to be 
9 and 10, not 11 and 12, excuse me. I want my crash to be 11 and 12. Now I'm going to go to my audio channels. I want that to be 13, 14. I'm going to pause the video, get that right, and I'll be back, okay? All right. So everything has been routed to the correct audio track. So the next step would actually be to record everything. So let's arm these tracks. Let's arm them. Let me go through my process just to make sure my metronome is off. Make sure I'm in song mode. And I'm at the beginning. I'm going to close the software out. BPM is correct. I'm going to click return to zero in studio one. And I'm going to record. And that's pretty much how you do it. So this beat right here is tracking out. I'll be back when it finishes. Awesome. Everything has been tracked out the way that I wanted it and the way I created the beat in song mode. But there is one step that we need to uh, make sure we put emphasis on. And that is routing everything back to its proper output and program. Because if you try to load that beat up in standalone mode, um, it won't load right. So let me get started with that. Let me actually do the audio channels first. And I'm going to do that from the hardware. Like I said, it's, it can be faster with the data dial via the MPC software. All right. Well, hardware, excuse me. So everything has been routed back to its correct output and program. So what does that mean? That means we are pretty much finished. I hope this video was very informative for you all. Uh, if you guys have any questions about anything that, that I went over in the video, definitely leave them down in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer them. Um, if you want to know how to make a beat in standalone mode, using song mode, watch the video up here. Then if you need to know how to track it out, watch the video up here. <laughs> um, but other than that, man, let's continue to be full-time beat makers, full-time whatever it is we want to be, man. Let's just continue to just enjoy life. Like I say, man, put in some work and let's stay full-time, baby. Let's go, man. I'm out.